you this was going to be a hot race. We have in the Ladies Sundown Showdown, Santiago of Corona, Great Oak, La Cañada, and Torrey Pines. Only nine points separating those four teams. It keeps switching back and forth. Right now we have two, we had two teams with 62 points. Now we have two teams with 73 points. It keeps going back and forth between Great Oak and Santiago of Corona. La Cañada is not too far behind and Torrey Pines is in the mix. We're gonna have to wait till all runners finish to determine who's gonna be your team's champion for the girls' sundown showdown. In este momento tenemos a tres, cuatro equipos. Great Oak, Santiago de Corona, La Cañada y Torrey Pines en las primeras posiciones, pero en este momento siguen cambiando las puntuaciones. No vamos a saber quién es la campeona hasta que terminen de entrar todas las corredoras. Impresionante esta carrera de las muchachas. Y en este momento acaban de salir los muchachos del Sundown Showdown. The boys just started. Boys Sundown Showdown, 18 ranked teams going head to head to determine one team champion. Over 130 runners across the finish line and the number one and two teams are only separated by two points. It's still too close to call. En este momento ya han cruzado la meta más de 130 corredoras, pero solamente los separa dos puntos. Great Oak y Santiago de Corona. with only nine runners left to come in. It's still only a two point swing between Great Oak and Santiago of Corona. En este momento, con seis corredoras, todavía solamente los separa dos puntos los equipos de Great Oak y Santiago de Corona. Vamos a esperar que entren estas corredoras para poder dar un para nombrar a la campeona oficial de esta carrera. Sundown Showdown de las muchachas.
team together, guys. Keep working together. Looking strong. the girls sundown showdown only a two point only two points separated first and second place and the team that won managed to flip the score 11 points in the second half of the race and your team champion is great oak with a team of 110 santiago of corona 112 both teams great race only two points separated at the time. En este momento les voy a anunciar que en la segunda mitad de la carrera el equipo de Great Oak cambió el puntuaje por 11 puntos y se llevó el campeonato por dos puntos sobre el equipo de Santiago de Corona. All right, here we go. At the halfway point, boys, sundown showdown with an impressive split of seven minutes and seven seconds. These Men are flying, I can't call them boys. Matthew Donis of Highland. In second place, Bill Ease of West Ranch. In third, Emmanuel Hernandez of Cathedral. His teammate, Emmanuel Perez of Cathedral. In fourth, Dylan De La Yola of Santiago Corona. In fifth, Van Feilick of Santiago Corona. Also in sixth, Owen Athen of seventh from Hart. In eighth place, Ryan Thomas of Torrey Pines. In ninth, Joel Fisher of Etiwanda. And in 10th, Gabriel Rodriguez of Great Oak. But we currently have 27 runners looking to break the 15 minute barrier splitting under 730. These guys are flying. En este momento aquí tenemos los primeros 10 en la primera posición. Matthew Dunn es de Highland con un tiempo de 7 minutos con 7 segundos en la primera mitad de esta carrera. Bill Isa de West Ranch en segundo, Emanuel Hernández en tercero, Emanuel Pérez en cuarto, los dos Emanuel es de Cathedral, Dylan de la Yola de Santiago de Corona en quinto, Van Fielder de Santiago de Corona en sexto, Owen Athen en séptimo de Hart. Ryan Thomas de Torrey Pines en octavo, Joel Fisher de Erwanda en noveno, Gabriel Rodriguez de Great Oak en décimo. Tenemos a más de 25 corredores corriendo a un paso donde romperían la barrera de 15 minutos. Impresionante la primera mitad de esta carrera. At this moment, we have Great Oak lead the charge for that team championship with 67 points, Santiago of Corona. Sound familiar? Same two teams on the girls' side with 111 points, Cathedral in third with 131, Tesoro in fourth with 133, and Tory Pines in fifth with 180. En este momento, los primeros dos equipos. Tenemos a Great Oak en la primera posición, Santiago de Corona en la segunda posición. Los dos mismos equipos acaban de pelear el campeonato con las muchachas. En tercera posición tenemos a Cathedral, en la cuarta posición a Tesoro y en la quinta posición tenemos a Tory Pines. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. 
Good job, Highland. Think about that king of the hill kick, that king of the hill kick right here. Start to make that move, start to make that move, Ryan. Matt Saul, way to work together, way to work together. Get these three in front of you guys, looking strong. Good job, Jonas. Look at those two and go get them. Look at those two and go get them. Good job, Jonas. Let's go, Spencer. This is your part of the race right here. You're part of the race. You got this, Spencer. Keep pushing, Bryce, keep pushing. One guy at a time, pick one guy off at a time, Bryce, one guy. Keep those arms loose, Ryan, keep those arms loose. Good, good, like that form, like that form. All right, just a reminder to you, all you spectators, we have this facility only till 10.30, so the night the lights will start to shut off at 10.30, so at the conclusion of the race, Please make your way towards the exit, but let's get back to the racing because here comes our leader. Last time I checked, this runner was all by himself. And here he comes. That's Donis out of Highland. He is going to throw down a very impressive time. He is going under 15 minutes. What is it going to be? Matthew Donis, Sundown Showdown champion. 14.37 flat, that would be the course record. Emmanuel Hernandez from Cathedral, 14.50, he's under 15. Bill East of West Ranch, 14.52, he's under 15. 
Bernard Pedres of Cathedral, 14.54, he's under 15. Van Filek of Santiago Corona, 1454. He's under 15. Owen Athen of Hart, 1458. Sixth place. He's under 15. We have six runners going under 15 minutes. Right, rounding out the top seven, we have Dylan DeLayola of Santiago of Corona. He went 15 flat point two. Griffin Cushion of Tesoro, 1501.2. Ryan Thomas of Torrey Pines, 1506.1. And Joel Fisher of Etiwanda, 1506.3. Very impressive running on a very fast course. Even though the, the temperature was hot, the times were hotter in the sundown showdown. Aquí están el campeón. De esta carrera, Matthew Donis de Highland con un tiempo impresionante de 14 minutos con 36 segundos. Emanuel Hernández de Cathedral también rompiendo la barrera de 15 minutos. Seis corredores rompiendo esa barrera con 14.54. Bill Isa de West Ranch, tercer lugar. Emanuel Pérez de Cathedral en cuarto lugar. Van Filek de Santiago de Corona en quinta posición. Owen Ethan de Hart en la sexta posición. Dylan de la Yola de Santiago de Corona en la séptima posición. Griffin Cushion de Tesoro en la octava. Ryan Thomas de Torrey Pines en novena. Y Joel Fisher de Erewanda en la décima posición. Let's take a look at those scores. Of course, Great Oak was the first team with five runners across. Cathedrals hanging on to second. Torrey Pines in third. Tesoro in fourth. Santiago of Corona in fifth. En este momento tenemos a Great Oak en la primera posición, Cathedral en segundo, Torrey Pines en tercero, Tesoro en cuarto y Santiago de Corona en quinto.